Hello YouTube and welcome to another one of my videos and this is how to build an incubator like this one I've made today. So I went around my granddad's and we um, actually made an incubator really pleased so I'm going to show you inside. First of all we got the lid, it's got a thermometer mounted in there. It's false reading at the moment because I've had it on for quite a bit. Got your glass panel there. A little window cut, not too big because you don't want to waste any heat energy. Now inside the incubator there's a computer fan, light bulb. We've actually made a bit of a stand so that the plastic doesn't melt anything. And we've wired this light ourselves, it's not a bought lamp kit. Then we've got a water dish down there, thermostatic controller, and two air holes which are also seen like that. Now uh, let's just go into the wiring of this. Obviously with this computer van being van being 12 volt, we had to have a, uh, um, a, a what's it called transformer, which is there. And we have got a power cable for the lamp. Now for the lamp we've got a, um, a main plug going in. One second guys, sorry. Just let the little boy in. Okay. Um, yeah, so we got um, a cable going from the plug to the lamp, and then we got another cable going all the way around, around here to the thermostat, and uh, I've been with my granddad, he helped me wire this and make it all safe. The reason we got this little cup over the thermostat is if you touch it, you get an electric shock, and you don't want that. That's the um, actual rod for the thermostat controller. Under there is the water basin. Now when the chicks are hatched, I don't want them to get their feet caught in the mesh. That's why we um, made a wooden floor instead of a mesh floor. And uh, and um, we're now going to, when they're hatched, you can put this piece which we cut out over so they don't go and get their foot stuck. Um, what you see down here is the green type rollers. You put your six eggs onto there. And um, every time it needs rolling, instead of lifting off the top, you just move these both the same way. It's a bit hard doing it one-handed, hand and it rolls the egg over like that. It rolls the egg magically like that. Wash for that side with a um, split pin. Wash for that side with a split pin. Now uh, let's go ahead and um, turn it on. Give me one second, the switch is all hit up oh, and a cabinet. There we go, and the light bulb's lit up. Fan's turned on. It's obviously reading that it's um, not warm enough for it to burn that. So we go ahead, pop the lid on. Through the small window you can monitor your eggs and monitor the temperature. So I'm going to come back when this temperature is up to scratch. should only take about 5 minutes with a 60 watt lamp. Also you need to mention is that when you first set this up, I had to get a screwdriver. Wait till the temperature got right on here, which is 99.5. Put the screwdriver in and turn it till the la light clicked off. That way I knew that um, we were at the right temperature and it's now automatically set up. The only thing is you do have to let the thermostat drop a few degrees before it kicks in again but it shouldn't upset your eggs. So I'll come back when it's up to heat. Okay so you can see we're up to temperature. No it didn't take very long at all. Light bulbs out. You can hear the fan running. It is all turned on. And uh, that has to go down a few degrees before it clicks back in and uh, you get power to light bulb again. So thanks for watching guys. I've um, got a few clips from how I built it, not a lot, which I will um, either put on the end of this video or post in a separate video. Couldn't really show how I built it because there's a lot of stages and you know, and it took us all day to build this one. We had to make up as we went along. So thanks for watching, um, and uh, yeah, that's my homemade incubator. Bye. Hi YouTube, 
we're down the shop and this is how to make a homemade incubator first of all you need to get a styrofoam polystyrene tub from um, somewhere we got ours from East Harling because they transport fish in them bit of glass picture frame will do or even if you've got some plastic see through um, plastic or whatever it is then you've got a uh, power cable with no end on it you can just get a cable or something cut it off um, thermometer which we've uh, put onto a bit of wood which we're going to mount to the glass um, a few bolts what have you computer fan to um, circulate the air around transformer to connect the computer fan up to um, transformer two light bulbs we've got a 20 watt one which is just one of those uh, low energy ones and this one is a 60 watt one we've got a lamp here which is going to go with a cable lid as well obviously and uh, we're going to test out with a thermostatic thermostat. yeah thermostat and uh, we're going to put this this is one out of a hot water tank we're going to attempt and see if it will measure the air of course this wouldn't be happening if we didn't have my wonderful assistant <laughs> granddad yeah so um yeah we'll come back to you so first of all you're going to take your stanley knife and you're going to cut the square for the viewing so we're going to do that now so as you can see we've uh, cut the hole for the window like so and now we've put the uh, plastic on but first we've got to drill the holes safety first always wear goggles so now we've bolted the uh, glass panel or plastic panel into the lid so you can see your eggs not there's any in there at the moment um, now we're going to mount, mount the thermo thermometer onto the glass yeah onto the glass okay so uh, there's the thermometer you've there. done that already yep and we're going to mount that onto glass okay so we've got the thermometer mounted this is the actual incubator now and now we're going to mount the fan but first we've got to connect it to the adapter screw that into the uh, incubator and then um, drill a hole put these cables out and mount it to the adapter so now we've uh, put the fan in we've screwed it on with a bracket and there and put the cables outside our next step is to um, uh, what's it? Put the lamp kit on. Make a bracket for the lamp kit so it don't melt the plastic for that piece there. So we mounted the fan again, but we had a bit of a change of plan. Instead of bringing the fan cables outside, we decided to wire it in and tuck it down to make it look neater. Now we're going to test it. We have power to the fan. <laughs> 